You're welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Amaka and this is Glizama Stitches. If you're yet to subscribe to this channel, just click on the red subscribe button and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload new videos, you'll be notified. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to make a simple kimono top. It's going to be a high-low top. So let's get started. So this is the fabric I'll be using. Now this fabric is 1 yard and 4 inches by 60. Now this top is going to be a high low top. The back is going to be longer than the front. I'm going to use, now this is, the, this is going to be the front panel and this is the back panel. Now the front, the front with the allowance, with the hemming allowance is the front with the hemming allowance is 27 inches while the back is 32 inches. So I'm going to turn it this way. Now I've folded my fabric into two. I'm also going I'm going to turn it. I'm going to fold it again into four. Now my fabric is folded into four. I'm going to start by taking my neck measurement. The neck width I'm working with is 4 inches and the neck depth is 4 inches. And I'll connect it. Now I'm going to take my shoulder measurement. My shoulder measurement is eight and a half. The shoulder measurement I'm working with is 17 inches. 17 divided by 2 gives you eight and a half inches. So I'm going to mark eight and a half inches here. Now the sleeve length I'm working with is 10 inches plus one inch allowance, which I'm going to use to turn to fold to fold the sleeve, gives you 11 inches. So this is 11 inches. So eight and a half inches plus 11 inches gives you 19 and a half inches. So what I'm working with is 19 and a half inches. Now another way to do this is by taking your measurement from your center back to wherever you want your sleeve to end. Now from this, I'm going to come down by two inches for my shoulder slope, for my shoulder slant. Now this is my two inches. I'm going to connect this point to the neckline. From this point, I'm going to take my round sleeve measurement. The round sleeve measurement I'm working with is 16 inches. 16 divided by 2 gives you 8 inches. So this is my 8 inches plus 1 inch allowance. Now let me be sure that 19 and a half inches. This is my 19 and a half inches. Because what I'm working with is 19 and a half inches. Now, from this point, from this point, I'm going to come in by one and a half inches. And I'm going to connect this one and a half inches. I'm going to connect this one and a half inches to this point. Now, before I do that, I'm going to come down to this point. Now, I'm going to curve. Now, this, this back, the back panel is longer than the front panel. Now, from this point, I'm going to come up by 3 inches. 3 inches. 
I'm going to connect this point to this point with my hip curve. This is how I'll do it. Now, so I'm going to curve the back and this is how I'll do it from here. I'm going to curve it to this point. So, now after that, I'm going to come back to this point. This, this point. I'm going to come back to this point and I'll connect this point to this point. So I'm going to connect this point to this point. I'll connect this point to this point. Now this is my sleeve. So I'll cut it. I'm going to start by cutting the neck. I'm going to add seam allowance on the shoulder. I'm using half inch for my seam allowance. So I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut here. I'm going to cut here.
So the next thing I'm going to do is to separate the front from the back so that I'll be able to trim the front. So I've removed the back. So I've removed the back. Now this is the front. I'm going to finish the front. So I'm going to trim here. Now, you will see that if you look at this part, you will see that this, the front and the back are aligned. Now, this is the back. The back is longer than the front. The back is longer than the front. So, I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew it. I'll join the shoulder. After joining the shoulder, I'm going to use bias to turn the neck. After turning the neck, I'll sew the, the sleeve. I'll turn the sleeve and sew here and hem here. I'll do the same thing to this other part. I'll do it and show you. This is the top. I finished sewing. Now look at it. Now this is the back. The back. Look at the curve. And this is the front. You see that the front is shorter than the back. The back is longer than the front. Now this is it. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. We've come to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye!